Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I'm excited about this video because I want to give you a quick look at one of my all-time favorite pens, the Pilot Custom 74. This is my famed Custom 74, the first gold nib pen that I ever used in blue with a medium nib. I'm a big fan of this pen, not just because of the way it looks or whatever, but it's just the way that it writes. It's a really fantastic performing pen. It's available in five different finishes in blue, which is my personal favorite, clear, orange, smoke, and violet. And there may be other colors that are available in Japan. This is all that's available in the US. In the hand, it feels really good. It's a long pen, but it's about a medium diameter, so it actually feels pretty comfortable for somebody like me with larger hands or for someone with smaller hands. It's a good all-around size. It's 22 grams in weight, which is on the lighter end, and it's very well balanced whether you have it posted or unposted. As you're holding it, the plastic is smooth, but it's got a good grip to it, so it doesn't slip around in your hand. And there's no harsh step on the grip. It's got very shallow threads, so it's comfortable no matter where you're holding it on the grip. It has a 14 karat gold nib that is rhodium plated, and it's very springy, so it feels soft as you're writing with it. That's part of what I love the most about this pen. It's available in a fine, medium, and broad. And the fine is really quite thin, so it's really great for if you're writing on absorbent, cheaper paper. The flow is very smooth and slightly wet, which I consider to be just about perfect. The cap is a screw cap that's push to post, and it has an insert to keep the nib wet that works really well. As far as how the pen fills, you can use any of the Pilot cartridges or converters, the Con 20, Con 50, or the largest Con 70, which is what the pen actually comes with, and I have a video that shows you how to fill a pen with a Con 70. I wouldn't really consider this to be a beginner pen per se, but it's definitely an entry-level gold nib pen at $160. You can check it out along with more technical information at gouletpens.com. And if you like this video and you want more like it, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.